Aloha, I'm Micah Skye from Mandala Cuisine. I wanted to touch base with everybody and share a little information. Um, with the radioactive situation going on on the planet with Fukushima, um, after having uh, Sergeant Major retired um, on my show for the last two hours last week, uh, who let me know what, what was really going on in Fukushima, and with the German um, radioactive weather, the Rhenish Institute for Environmental Research, URAD project, which shows you the forecast for radiation um, on the planet and whatnot. And as of April 24th, the first cesium and radiation will be on U.S. soil settled, like dry sediment. Um, and the Hawaiian Islands, I wanted to drop a little recipe for a miso soup uh, that people that were less than a mile from Hiroshima had the soup developed by a doctor over there for them. They ate it every day as a staple in their environment. Some of them are 80, 90 years old, no radiation poisoning. Okay, super simple, super easy, super delicious. And it's all going to start with this stuff, miso right here. Okay, this is a red miso. This is one actually from Japan. If you're going to get miso from Japan, try to see if you can see a date, see if it's pre-March this year. Uh, that way you'll know it's not, it doesn't have any radiation in it. Um, it's going to start with this stuff pretty easy. Um, you do generally a half tea, uh, a teaspoon per half cup. So I do cup wise, I do a one tablespoon per cup. Otherwise you do two teaspoons per cup. Um, I like mine a little heavier, a little more miso-y. Uh, basically, you're going to boil water to boiling temperatures. You're going to instantly bring it down, just kind of turn it lower, drop the miso in, disintegrate it. Then you're going to soak these sea vegetables right here that you can see. This is kombu. It's a thicker, dry, you can see the salt, sea, sea salt dried on it. It's a thicker sea vegetable, kind of like beef jerky-ish. You can also eat it dry. You can eat any of the seaweed dry. And I'm going to chop this into pieces. It's very tough. So I usually make cuts and then pull it apart. And then you have uh, mami nori, uh, wakimi. There are all different kinds of seaweed. You're going to put about uh, a tablespoon per cup. So. Some people do a teaspoon and a half. I do a tablespoon. I like uh, sea vegetables in. This is one of the primary components that's going to flush any radioactive free radicals out of your body. And then you're going to chop up this kombu, and we're going to throw it in a little cup like this to soak in water. So you let it soak while you're actually heating and stirring in the miso. It soaks the water up pretty quickly, and then from there, you're going to dump that into the soup over here. Now, I like topping it with green onions. I didn't have any green onions today, so I'm going to be putting in some kale. Um, and this kale is pre-marinated. It's been sitting overnight, so it's a little bit more broke down. And I toss it in, again, all after boiling to keep as much of the nutrients, lime enzymes, and the miso in because that's another active ingredient that's going to help flush your system and help flush your body. So here's a few examples. This is, um, again, all pre-March. This is some kombu. The mami nori um, and the wakimi is a black, kind of looks like little tendrils of hair. Uh, they all have different flavors. Learn to like them. Um, I really think a trend we should start is uh, miso soup parties. Um, basically having maybe a DJ spin, music, and making big pots since everyone's got to be drinking this to really flush the system and be happy and healthy. Um, so I'm going to bring over the finished product of the miso. We just finished everything now you'll notice with miso you'll notice notice with miso that everything it looks kind of clear dark brown on the top you can see and when we stir it like this you can see how we stir all the miso up now again you can play with whatever you want to, mushrooms, um, carrots, daikon, whatever you have that you want to experiment and throw in there, I implore you to do so. So 
yeah, it's an intense time, a time of change. It's exciting. Um, it's all a means to a new beginning, and it's really just about being smart during this process. And this is one of the key components. It's simple. It's easy. Make it like a cup of coffee for yourself. Uh, going to drink it every day. Uh, make it just a regular part of your process. Like I said, coming up with something like a party, having a miso party where it's fun. Other ingredients I want to show you real quick. Uh, potassium iodide, this is a diluted form that you can take every day, just a couple drops even, in your diet. If you needed to, because a large amount was detected in your area, you take 30 or 40 of these to really blast the thyroid and keep anything from collecting in it. Another really powerful thing, uh, reishi mushrooms. This is a, a tablet form, um, but uh, there are also liquid tinctures. In fact, dragon herbs is one of my favorite ones to actually go to in regards to, um, to these kinds of supplements while you still can. Uh, sea vegetables, compacted in, in tablets, spirulina, chlorella, um, chlorophyll, just even liquid chlorophyll and water is a great one with some lemon. Um, it's all going to keep your body and help your body assist in healing from these free radicals that really are, these are the messengers from anything radioactive that come in and start deteriorating the body by taking electrons from your molecules, from your atoms. Um, and they start deteriorating and weakening and just degradating the body. So anything you can do um, will really help in your body's process. Everyone's is different too. Some people's will be able to heal and regenerate faster than others. Nonetheless, simple, easy, delicious way to do something every day towards keeping your body healthy through this time. I'm Micah Sky with Mandala Cuisine. Thank you for listening. Love and light to all of you in this time of change. Aloha.